As we discussed in earlier video tutorials, when you try to log into the software, if you haven't done any security changes aside from how the software comes with its default settings, uh, you will get the prompt for the manager or employee password that's already pre-filled with our default password for manager, which is 123. And it's the master password or administrator password that gives you access to everything in the software. And now this is pre-filled because it's the default one, helps you test out the software easier. And you can't see any real values in here. Even if you type something in here, when you change the passwords, you cannot see anything but these stars. That is just a way to protect a um, password text field in order to protect uh, your privacy, to protect your password as you're typing in passwords in the future so somebody's not looking over your shoulder and seeing what your password is. Uh, but we'll show you in this video tutorial how to change that manager password, that administrator or master password. If we click OK in here, we'll log into the software of course. We need to go to Setup and then Security. Now in this menu, we can type in a new administrator password and then retype it in order to check for misspellings or mistypings. And the other thing we can do in this menu, aside from setting a new administrator password, is we can disable all passwords where we, we can have a no protection setting on the software, no protection at all. And this is rare that people need this, but uh, some significant part of our uh, users uh, demand this uh, in cases where you know, they just want to log in and log out very fast. They're just one person in the business, maybe owner operator situation where they don't have to worry about protecting the software from other employees. And then when they walk away from the uh, POS, they just uh, lock the cash drawer with a key, literally, or they don't even have a cash drawer. So they don't uh, require much uh, fanciness and security. Let's just show you that first. Disable all passwords, submit changes. Manage password disabled successfully. Now you'll see you can log in and log out without the software prompting you for anything. No prompt for password. Log in, log out. Now we'll go ahead and change it to your own uh, manager's password or administrator password. Of course, we uh, leave the old manager's password pre filled. and just type in the new administrator password that we want to have and retype it so it double checks for uh, mistakes in typing like misspellings. Click on submit changes, update it successfully. Now you'll notice you log out and you're trying to log in. There's going to be a prompt for a manager or employee password and there's nothing pre-filled anymore. There's no default uh, password pre-filled. So now you really got to type in your password, your manager's password or employee password. Uh, in here, your employees will be typing in their passwords too. Of course, not everybody's a manager that's going to use the system. So uh, we will talk uh, in the later videos about how to set the employee security settings, the employee passwords, the employee uh, permissions in this software. So we'll just click OK and we gain access to the software. 